Hey, babe. Hi, honey. <laughs> what are you doing? The, I'm putting eye masks on. I, these may be a little distracting because they have all these like distracting brown dots on them, which um like poop dots. They look like poop dots, but I'll tell you what they are. And also, people want to know what your eye masks are. Yeah, because I I'm the queen of eye masks. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Previously on the Screeviously. I'm your host, Tim Rosenman. This is my co your co -host, my co-host, Whitney Port. Whitney um, Port Rosenman. We're just talking about eye gels. If you want to know the deets. Whoa! Did you just rub some of the eye stuff on your lips mm -hmm, too? Mm -hmm. Hit them with the deets. All right. So I always use the extra because the stuff is like this is what it's, it's soaked in. Put so it on my face psoriasis. The These are Patchology, the perk up ones. Energizing tea infused aromatherapy eye gels with green tea, bergamot, and white mulberry. I'm pretty sure they're on Amazon, so we can link up. We'll link up. We'll link up. Oh, we got some shout outs, I see. Let's shout them out. Let's make Annie shout out every third one, okay, Annie? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Annie, and then when you do Annie, just look over into the Annie cam. Okay. All right, I'll go first. Coming in at number one, but not like our number one favorite, just first on the list, but maybe first in our hearts. Won't tell you is Sky Fenton. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Next one is Tessa Huntley. Go Tessa. Go Tessa. Shout out to you. Shout out to you. All right. Three. <laughs> a. Yeah. a. All right. A. Way to go. First YouTube user ever. Just A. Coming in at number four, you know, but this isn't in order. You remember is. Sheena Bush, Ooh. heiress to the Bush beer throne. And the next one is Joy O. Oh, Joy. Oh, Joy. All right. All right. Emily M. <laughs> uh, number seven, Crystal Turbot. 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 All right, number eight, Ray Elder. Uh. <laughs> Coming in at number nine, great screen, three, two, three. Woo, 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 Grace. Do you think she lives in the three, two, three area code? Definitely. Where is that? LA? Yeah. Oh, so you had Six Flags on Monday. It was like there's 310-213-323-818. Hit us up in the comments about your area code. All right, coming in at number 10, Haley Outland. Outland. I call her the Outlander. And number 11 is <laughs> number eight. Yeah, number eight. Don't be upset, Ray Elder. You're number eight on this list, but number eleven, number eight is number eleven on this list. Okay, it's confusing, but hilarious. But they chose a confusing screen name. Yeah, not our fault, but they're OG members, so they can do whatever they want. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thanks, thanks for, for your being membership. OG members. Thanks for being pillars of the commune. Thanks for just being yourselves and making this a safe place for us to be ourselves yeah and like you know watch these people's lives implode let's crush a soda it's called that girl is lost Ugh, who do you think they're talking about Definitely kelsey juliet. or juliet she just hit kelsey in the face remember yikes TV. So oh my, my god. god. Too many oh toppings. Oh my god. Yeah, What's first of all, mask? that is disgusting. <laughs> yeah, someone did not eat all that pizza. Nobody wants a dirty mask on top of them. They're pizza. olives. There's way too many olives. That's the supreme. So beyond That's pizza and vinegar. Not okay. She's a liability. This could ruin everything for you. It's not gonna fly anymore. I just think she's really lost and really unhappy. Juliet was asked to leave the island, and her friends went with her. And there they go. And they're leaving. I mean, production said we can't film with her. Yeah. I knew Juliet and I weren't on the best of terms. I don't remember this. Her, and yeah. her friends went with her, meaning? Probably like Hannah and exactly, yeah. Maybe Sam went with her, I would assume. Mm. Terms. But I never thought it would get to the level it did. I would be embarrassed to be you. Everyone so knows 
Oh, they definitely had it, oh. but didn't no, show no. it. Uh, you! She left in such a hurry that some of her friends stayed behind, like Amanda, Camilla, and Serena. I just hope it's like very clear this wasn't Juliet's decision. Like I just found out from the showrunner. I was relieved. Juliet crossed the line, and there was no returning from that. So you crossed the line, baby girl. Yeah, you baby girl did. Oh my god, a red-footed tortoise. tortoise. I wish I had some context for the size of that thing. That's what Spike's gonna look like, mm -hmm. but better looking. I was so shocked when Juliet hit Kelsey. She just sees red, like she genuinely has this thing in her brain where it clicks and she's not thinking about anyone but herself. I just, I feel what she did is wrong, but like, I'm honestly shocked. I can't believe that they actually left. I don't know, I just, thought they were gonna be able to communicate and like figure things out like mature adults instead like I feel like I'm What made you think that? Listen, baby. Listen, baby girl. Is she saying that to the bird? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Baby, we're having our own conversation over here. I need you to leave. Go. <laughs> I don't know, I'm sad. I wish it didn't come down to this. Honestly, I don't see them ever being friends. I'm very curious how it's gonna be when we get home. Camilla and I were totally stuck in the middle between Juliet and Kelsey. Don't they have beef over Brandon? Yeah, but well, we're probably uh, over it yeah. right now. Juliet did was wrong, but she was still my friend. I felt like no matter what I did, I was betraying one of them, especially when I worked on Kelsey's photo shoot against Juliet's wishes. My boyfriend says whole thing up, and then she's gonna do swimsuit, and when I, that's what I was gonna do. Mm -mm. I think it bothered her. Like, Kelsey really got on it, and Kelsey got her suits done, and Kelsey got her shoot done here, and, like, Juliet's still drinking and playing every day, and she didn't get her suits done in time. You know, she's, like, unmotivated. Shit. It's the reality. It's a reality show. She needed a massage. Yeah. I see a wish for everyone. I think we needed it. Oh, a lot of people were like, did you see Max was at the New Year's Eve party with Kelsey? Like, they started dating. Yes, oh, like long was, ago? Uh, I guess, I, mean, I don't know the time. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah, I remember seeing his face yeah. on there. Obviously, things between you and Juliet like hit the fan in a way that none of us saw coming. So I'm really? sorry that you went through that. And then with all the business stuff, it's been great. That's one thing I'm so happy about, because before yeah. the ship, I told myself I was gonna work on my brand, and like I set those goals, and I achieved them. You crushed it. I was really excited to- Don't ever high-five your girlfriend. Mm, it's okay. Okay, it's you can, okay. okay. It's all right, okay. fine, now you can. The island and work on my swimmer line. Look at y'all! I'm ready for it! I had plans to do a pre-launch for my brand, but everything that happened with Juliet completely overshadowed it. If Julia were to ever even apologize, I think it would be her feeling like she needs to just do it to seem like she feels bad. But I know she does not feel bad. I don't know. We're all human. We make mistakes. When you're in the moment and there's alcohol mixed, I don't know. I feel like I pushed someone in the pool. So I have no room to tell her what she's doing is wrong. Yeah. You're a bitch. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You literally over to this. Oh yeah, stop. You shouldn't have done that. I'm hot in the pool. Alcohol is not an excuse, but it, it definitely, definitely helped. It. I agreed, honestly. But also, the physical violence of her just knocking somebody in the back of the head bar or her just slapping somebody, like, something needs to change to where. I mean, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Uh, no. <laughs> Punch 
Chloe right in the face. Yeah. There's so much tension. It's just crazy. Like, I see Kelsey and Julia fighting, and it's like, you guys were best friends. Like, what is wrong with you guys? This honestly all goes back to the beginning of Kelsey and Juliet were really good friends. They used to travel with each other all the time. They lived together. Like, they also hated each other before that. Mm -hmm. So he said something about Juliet and Sam's relationship. Kelsey's just like, I'm kind of worried about you, Sam. Juliet just wants all your money. They really like him. Okay, and you're genuinely into who he is and not his money? Yeah. Okay. Actually, wow, really? Juliet never let that go. And then the bikini line started, and then it was more competitiveness. It's just suspicious that of all the type of fashion that you could get into, that you chose swimwear. I didn't even know that you were that into bathing suits. And then there was Max. Max and I were set up first. OK, so were you guys like talking and stuff? I just literally said we were set up first. So you didn't like Julia first? No, I did not like her. Like, we literally were all hanging out, and we're all in the same space. Obviously, I'm going to talk to everyone, but I was instantly more drawn to you. And I just want you to know, there was absolutely nothing between Juliet and I. I'm not fully understanding where Juliet's head is at right now. And it's like all we can do is really kind of tell her, like, what she did wrong and, like, try and support her. You know, she's a great friend of mine, but, like, this isn't the first time I've disagreed with the way she acts. Yeah. This island has literally been divided. Yeah. Amanda's been friends with Juliet for years. Yeah. Camilla is like good friends with that group. Yeah. It sucks. It's insane that like people have to pick sides, and I feel like that's what it's come to. It's just yeah. sucks so much. Coming up. I haven't had a girlfriend in like years. I'm not trying to go through all that again. Whoa. Non-negotiable, unacceptable behavior. Yeah. Period. I just like have to be there for Kelsey right now. Sam needs like. I don't know. I just don't think Juliet's good for him. Who are you to say that Juliet's not good for Sam? I'm Jordana. <laughs> That's who I am. Party time. All right, they're trying to pick up the the positive the vibes. Yeah. I mean, I would go f sailing that, looks that day. Amazing. Yeah, I'd be like, I'm gonna go. Juliet's gone. Yeah. Can I have a shrimp cocktail? Let's go sailing. <laughs> Hey, let's run over here and hit some bats. That was rough. I'm more out. I thought you were gonna lose me for a second out there. Nah, I got you. Same footsie with me. Just wanted to knock your foot to get my sand off. <laughs> no! Yeah. I got it. Goofballs. I love that though. You definitely make me more comfortable for sure. I can be myself around you. Wouldn't want you to be any. I can be myself around you. You really open up like that, so. Why not? I hide my emotions, you know. Why though? I don't know, but you bring it out. I think it's so attractive when men can talk about their feelings, and I want you to be, trust me, be comfortable with me, you know? I just need to be able to open He's like, yeah, I get it, but no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> be able to open up to you, too, and it's like if you pull back, I pull back. That's a pattern with me. I fall really hard. Right. But then the second I feel somebody pull away from me, I'm just, like, gone. It's great. It's good to hear. For a few months now. And I was really into him, but I was still trying to get to know him better to see if we could work out in the long run. I haven't had a girlfriend in like years for a reason. You said how, it's been how long since you've been in a relationship? Honestly, it was years since I've been in a real relationship. I'd heard some stuff and then like just kind of figured, okay, I kind of got cheated on. From then on, I've always had kind of like trust issues and that's why it's hard for me to open up really. And I just, I'm not trying to go through all that again. And, I feel like you go through those relationships and they teach you a lesson. And it's like you got to find the right person that makes you feel comfortable enough to want to open up. I completely agree. <laughs> That's just not you. The, see Only where it goes. God can judge us, right? That's right. Only God can judge us. Our whole YouTube community is judging you. <laughs> and I love that you're religious. Lord. Got me falling for you even more now. There you go. You get what you please. We about to get it on. She said, <laughs> what you know about that. I'll tell you everything. I got what you need. Up in the store and get what you want. No, I'm going to take that. Oh, yep. Yeah. We about to get it. Did I can't see. Like, that was good enough. You know what I mean, yo. I'm about to go, bro. Oh. 
Oh my God. Bachelor date. Yeah. <laughs> Remember the bachelor date where they went horseback riding and then they um, hit beats like on top of the horse while the horse was dead or like asleep or something? Do you remember that? I have a picture. There it is. Oh, hey, Care. Care's like, I stayed. How are you? Fine. How are you feeling? I'm okay. Any better? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. What are you doing here? Yeah, it was a little weird for Kara to show up and talk to me. She and I have never gotten along. SpongeBob SquarePants, lip injections, fart face, butthole. You're a freaking cheater and a liar. You're literally the biggest piece I cannot wait to watch your life like fall apart. Oh, thank you, honey. You literally are energy dick. She knew what it was like to be on Juliet's bad side. You are being rude. You were just. No, I'm not. I'm not. You're half deaf, half rude, mostly stupid. I just wanted to make sure you were okay because EG's party was an absolute nightmare. Friends were not friends. I just I wanted to come say hi and make sure you were feeling hopefully a little bit better than yesterday. Nice of her. She's taking a big step, a big risk. Mm, yeah, but why? She's like, did a producer ask you? Maybe, or she's just she's trying to come across like better on the show. Mm -hmm. Deep breath. Don't trust her. I don't know. I don't know if I can trust you. Launching my summer today. Oh really? Yeah. And I mean, I. Well, it's exciting. It is, but it's also like it just sucks that that's what's weighing on me. The fact that she continues to get away with this and never has any consequences, I'm not okay with. Like, I was not raised that way where you, like, you fight with your words, you're gonna fight. Like, you don't right. ever get physical. And the fact that she took it to that level is not okay. Like, does he think that's cute when she acts like that? <laughs> like, if I did that, Michael would be mortified. Oh, Max would have. Yeah, like, absolutely not. Who's Michael? I know, can we show a little bit of that? Really? Like She's sort of interested. Because I've been away from you guys for so long. Oh, like, Juliet's, like, changed a little. Like, that's great. She hasn't. I guess not. Yeah. Even just you coming here does show growth on your end, and so and I know we have our differences, but thank you. Like it's nice to see you're growing, mm -hmm. okay? Because I'm monitoring your growth, because mm -hmm. I'm more mature than you, so that's shade. Okay, compliment and shade. <laughs> look how pretty her eyes are. Yeah, her eyes look pretty with that hair color, too. Yes, they do. I also feel like Kelsey is trying to get Juliet fired from the show. I agree, from the I was show. just about to say that. She wants, she's like, she wants the number one spot. But the thing yeah. is, it, it doesn't work that way. Like, if, if Juliet goes, it's not like Kelsey's steps into the spot. You can see Amanda did. Right. Like, Kelsey, they've decided, is, is not, not ever gonna, gonna be carry yet. the show. Exactly. Exactly. I don't think she realizes that. Mm -mm. Or she knows in her subconscious, but she's not mm -mm. willing to admit it to right. herself. Right, no. Do you want to sit and go back? I feel the most she interested like in, like, her character. <laughs> Or like maybe the two of us could be the co-leads. Yeah. You coming by here, because I'm just really frustrated with people who aren't genuine. This is exactly why Juliet continues to do this, because the people surrounding her just let it go. Like all of her blonde entourage. Blonde entourage. Like, they need her, like in a weird way. They think they do. They also want Sam's jet and everything that's associated with Sam and Juliet. It's like, I wonder if she dated someone that wasn't rich, if they'd all still follow her. Oh God, no. Can you imagine? That's never anyone I'd want to be. I wouldn't want to be someone based off of something else. Like, it's I also like be my own individual. Yeah, it's scary to rely on somebody like that. Mm -hmm. Like, imagine something goes wrong, then what? Like, oh. she's screwed. <gasps> yeah. If her and Sam ever broke up. Oh, God. Oh, my God, imagine if they did. I'm smart enough to realize his girlfriend doesn't need to be held accountable. So why'd you say, I'm still imagining? <laughs> Coming up. I hope you're happy. That's the girl I want to marry. And spend the rest of my life with. Does he have a weed necklace on? Let's see. Let's check it out. How's your time on the island been? It's been interesting. It's been great. I mean, I really love everyone. I just, you know, I came here to help Julia with her brand. And, like, she left. Yeah. So that was a whole So what the f 
here. are you doing here? She's like, oh, maybe Kelsey needs me now. <laughs> Obviously, you know, we don't slap, right? Right, right. I can't stand by it and I don't condone it. I don't condone what she did either. And I had a conversation with her and I was like, you can't do this. No. Like, this is non-negotiable, unacceptable behavior, yeah. period. I just like have to be there for Kelsey right now. But like, I am glad knowing that Juliet has people wanting what's best for her. Yeah. How have you been doing since Ish left? And who are you again? Yeah. <laughs> what? Um, not great. Like, obviously I miss him. You can tell she's been but crying. It's good to just like be around my friends right now and be with Kels. Yeah, I feel like I need to be there for her. So I haven't had the time to like focus on Ish. Or what about focusing on you? I'm sorry, what? <gasps> she's a motivational speaker, you know? I had just met Serena, but we really connected. So how did you guys met? He was a producer on our show. Do you guys want to have a first song? It does bring a lot of anxiety. Anxiety's bad. Serena gives the best advice, so I reached out to her to talk. When it comes to me, oh, that's why we're here. <laughs> I've been having such terrible anxiety. My anxiety wasn't something I talked about much, but it was a big obstacle for me. This is something I will have to deal with for the rest of my life. Like I will have to deal with ups and downs and anxiety and depression, and I know that. <laughs> I know this about me. It's so much easier for me to be a caretaker. Like, this is why, I, when I was a kid, like, I knew I wanted to be a mom. Mm -hmm. That's been my dream my whole life. I just want to, like, I want to take care of people. Your whole life's be a mom. You. She you doesn't. Become nurturing right, you yourself. don't. You're right. When you look in a mirror, that's just your best friend. Doesn't she deserve that same love and nurturing that you give to Ish and to Kelsey and to everyone in your life? Here, take these drugs. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. No, no, this well, is maybe a... like I love you. I love you. You're hot. <laughs> You're strong. You're kind. You're a good person. You are a good person, Madison. And you're valuable. That you are valuable. <laughs> yeah. Aww. Yeah, you, know, you said you wanted to be an actress. Yeah. Like, Senna. is that what yeah. you want more than anything? No. More than anything. Right, so I was, I was. So I'm sticking to the mom thing, okay? When you become a mom, your world is shifted to your kids. Everything yeah. is surrounding your kids. And to me, that seems like it's all about Ish, it's all about Kelsey, it's all about the kids. You're not, you're skipping over the Madison part. This is only the beginning. Time is a factor with Ish. The slightest thing surprise. We do have a 20 year age gap, and I do want, you know, my kids to grow up with their dad. And I would know for a fact I want that to be Ish. I want Ish to, to be the father of my children. I think that that's valid. I think also three years won't entirely make a difference with him, but I think it can make the world of difference with you. Who are you? It's too personal for this stranger. Well, I think she, Madison reached out to her for advice and a storyline. <laughs> really, like going through photos, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> we got some good times. No, Stephanie, I don't care, sorry. So many good pictures of you on this trip. I invited Steph to the uh, island to help me with my so photo shoot. Hi, friends! It was great because she's also super close with Joe. They had been hooking up on and off for eight years. But because of Joe's commitment issues, it wasn't all fireworks for them. Everything with you has been great. Why do you look so stressed? <laughs> I don't know. Like, <laughs> this is our first, like, picnic. I don't know. Like, it's awkward. It is. I knew that Steph wanted more from Joe. I can't keep being like the girl on the side. You can. I'm so glad to be here with you. Like, I've missed you so much. But I'm definitely struggling. Ooh. I just Are those girls real color eyes? They're beautiful. You know I love you. Like, to say that you're my best friend is an understatement. How could it be an understatement? Mm -mm. The best is the best. And it's selfish of me to keep asking. 
couple more time. I said it's not fair to you, but sure. where I am in my life right now, like I have work to do in myself and I can't be what I feel like you need right now. I want to say I'm sorry. We knew this was coming. Yeah. I can't be here any longer. He's like, that's that's fine with me. I'm sorry. I wanna say I'm sorry, but I'm starting to think I'm not. What does the song say? I wanted to say I'm sorry, but I'm thinking that I'm not. Oh, that's a strange sentiment. Also, um, that's exactly what we just said, though. Channel news. What? You you have a anklet on over <laughs> your sock. Can we get a shot of that? No, 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 don't. No, 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 no. No, I got happened. it. I got it. it I got it. Happened. I got yeah. it. There it is. There it is. Here we go. Bye. I'll give you a million dollars if you could tell me your name. I win. Marissa. I don't. I don't know to say yes or no. Do you think he needs that beanie right now? It's like. Jenny needs a beanie. <laughs> She's frozen McGlezen. <laughs> I'm glad that we're out here getting on the little, little shade yeah, after being on the boat for the past two days. I think I'm a little bit burnt, honestly. I got one of the aloe plants, though. Oh, yeah, they help. Yeah. It's a palm tree on his neck. That's not a weed thing. Copy that. Actually, I feel like I need to talk to her. Tits and I think beats. That's a good idea, honestly. Yeah. She's cool. Yeah. Right, well, I'm going to go do that. Good luck. I love you. I love you too. Love them. So yeah. She's like a cute chameleon. She looks like a cute lizard. Hey. Hi. Walking by. And we never. Is that a Juliet or a Kelsey? <laughs> the bathing suit? Yeah. I would guess Juliet, but probably Somewhere neither. There. Yeah, they don't actually make it them. We never really even finished our conversation. After Kara's conversation with me, she really hopes she can make amends with Garrett as well. The last time they had any sort of communication was when he wrote her a letter after they broke up. Dear Kara, I hope you find what you're looking for. Even if we never talk or film again, I hope you know that I'll always have a six pack. She thought that they had ended on good terms, so she was so confused when she found out that he was still hanging on to issues from their relationship. You made me feel like I wasn't good enough and I didn't know enough about Italy or like whatever you were dealing with. Um, well, what the fuck was I dealing with? Being a total <laughs> But despite <laughs> their true. problems, she never wanted to hurt him, so she wanted to talk it out. Um, I just feel like I was very caught off guard the first night. Like, I didn't realize that you and I have these huge, huge issues. So when I was, like, attacked by your girlfriend, it was just very confusing to me. Well, I mean, that's the thing, is, like, you didn't realize that. And, like, back when we were dating, you didn't realize I'm them. It did cause me a lot of anxiety. It did cause me a lot of stress. Could you, like, give me examples of, like, how I gave you anxiety? I mean just seems like, um, I always pick you up. I tell you, you're beautiful and you got pretty earrings on. Um, could you stop touching my leg? You know, like squeezing my fat, you know, I don't like being fat and you squeezing it and reminding me about how I'm fat over there. I'm just trying to make you happy, but it's like, you're stuck on unhappy and I don't know what am I supposed to do about that. Why are you even trying to do that at all? Because the F word love you, bro. <laughs> Maybe I'm just wasting my days and months. Ah, I really don't like you. You try and tell me everything I'm unhappy about and never, and you always hide my supplements. You push me away, where, really far away. You're actually not wrong about all those things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good, Kara. That was a really great point. <laughs> I didn't think about that. <laughs> but you're completely right. How easy is that, you know? When we were together, I was so much more negative for whatever reason. And like, I'm not blaming you. I don't think it was you. I think it was just like the place I was in at the time. 
I was like constantly complaining, like I was always negative, and if like something was nice or great, like I found bad things in a lot of shit. Because looking back, I was negative, and I feel like I didn't show you like the love that you needed to feel appreciated. And I'm sorry for that. That's pretty good. Yeah. He's like, well, I don't know how to process that. Yeah. Um, thank you. And I hope you're happy. Very happy. <laughs> Actually, I'm ecstatic. <laughs> That's the girl I want to marry. Spend the rest of my life with. All right, cool, Garrett. It's like, you don't have to throw it in her face. Right, right. Okay. Yeah. He's mad. Cordial. But he can't help it being nice. <laughs> oh, there's Michael's pimple. It's <laughs> Michael's temple pimple. <laughs> Michael's temple pimple. Coming up. Who dat? I don't want to just lose you, you know? I, like, I, I love you. Oh my god, Brandon. Go climb up a goddamn tree. <laughs> Climb a tree, dog. Climb a tree and get lost. Ooh, hey. photo shoot number dos. Uh, yeah, it means two. Maybe it's just me, but it really seemed like things lightened up on the island after. Ooh, yeah, that hip on hip. Hurts. Yeah. Summer vibe, summer vibe. vibe. We're gonna vibe in the months in between, man. Sunny and I harmonized last night. No way. And he wanted to, sh he wanted to show you, but I was like, it was a tactic to delay. Yeah, delay. But time. at first, we, so we were singing the same thing. We made up, and he was like, oh my god, it sounds like an echo. And I was like, that's a harmony. Oh yeah, he tried to do that to me in the Jaycoos. Oh! And then she, he tells Camilla he loves her. Oh! Also, when the skin board's out, you know things are good. I love it. Look how hot you guys are. I love that photo. Hello, beauties. Hello. Hi. Oh my god, are you looking at the photo? Yes. Whoa. Look at that. I f love that, too. There's oh, a photo. Come on. I'm very impressed, honestly. Yeah. Max is a great photographer. I know. That's gorgeous. My butt. I wanted to show you guys like what the photos do look like, like the end product, because I know that day was a lie. This is just so unfair because it's like because you forgiven, Kara. You're just being hot headed. I am hot headed. Guys, let's not do this today. I just want you all to know that like I appreciate all of you guys for helping me out. Like maybe we'll all be able to get back to how we used to be and all get along more. What happened with Juliet and I kind of put me in a funk. It was weighing on me, and I haven't been myself. But the one thing that's been really positive is that I have these awesome girls in my life. And yeah. They're supporting me. Yeah. And like, I wouldn't Who are that? do this pre launch with anyone else. I love you. I love you guys. I and mean, that's what I love about you. You took this opportunity and, and you've made a f brand, Kelsey. Yeah, for like, sure. it's crazy. I love it. You're a businesswoman now. Yeah, yeah. I'm so happy. It feels good. I think this brand is just so down to earth. This is real. Like, there's no yeah. airbrushing or like no. no She's like, no, we airbrushed. Yeah, I think that's like the difference between your thing with Juliet. Hers is like much more fashion. Yours is much more like function, real. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know. I just get such like a. Hers is cuter. Yours is like more like you know just quality. With all this, so I named the swimsuits after you. What? Mm -hmm. Oh hell yeah. Yeah. Wait, that is so sick. That's yeah. a cool idea. Love you. Love you. Are you ready to do this? Uh, Are we yes. gonna put it live? Ready? <gasps> oh my god! One, two, three. Oh. Woo! Oh. She's like, wait, it's not working. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Oh, wait, oh. Hey. What's up? I must just finish packing. How's everything? Pretty good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. 
just doesn't really look like it right now. You're kind of upset. Um, I hate oh, being around you. Yeah, you, you ruined my life yeah, right now. Yeah, right. Things have changed a lot, right? That's not what's up. I've just sort of been seeing that like, I'm, I'm around you, trying to talk to you. I feel like it just hurts you. Yeah, Wow, oh, you're picking up on it, huh? Yeah. I just, I don't know why I still had hope. It's just like, it makes me be like, oh my god, why am I so stupid? Like, I leave the door open for you a little bit, and you, again, slap me in the face and make me remember why I shouldn't have. I know it seemed like I didn't love Camilla. Whoa, who put you in the VO uh, booth? Everyone, I guess everyone is getting their own yeah, little Right, because they don't know what to do. Yeah. yeah. So, about love love. <laughs> yeah, I know. But I thought she was moving on too. When push came to shove, <laughs> I should have just realized that all that jealousy was trying to tell me something. I mean, at the end of the day, this this isn't even about Jordana because all my anger that was built up, I like lashed it out on her. Yeah, well, don't do that. Blame the guy. I just can't believe that this is the end of this trip. I just thought everything's gonna be different. I just don't want to just lose you, you know. Well, tough shit. I like I, I love you. You know that. No. You don't. But I don't know. I don't, I, I, don't, I don't know what's back in CSD Key. I just have to get off this high. I can't see you anymore. <laughs> no. Okay, good. The heat, the oh, no. Heat yeah, me too. Thought, yeah. yeah. Mm. Break out, dog. Your hair looks silly. Yeah. Coming up. We yeah. We did was way better off. And not something that I would even do in high school. Madison, you got this. You're smart. Ooh, here we go. Beautiful. You're a good friend. And you got this. And I love you. Anything that comes your way, you can do it. You're Madison Houseberg. <laughs> Madison, you are a All right. She's Madison fing Yeah. <laughs> All right, final party. Hat head. Oh. Whoa. Like, what, what the fuck? He was like, I know what I'm wearing. This is the last night. At the beach party? Like, what? This is really crazy. I hope someone throws a drink on it. All right, Madison, you got this. Yeehaw! <laughs> well, I just want to say it has been a wild ride, but I could not be more grateful for this group. And I hope that we can bring all these good vibes back to Siesta Key. Yes. yes. No drama. Yes. And let's enjoy tonight. That's why you can't be the star of the show. Yeah. Show needs drama. Beautiful. Not bad. Sit in first and then you get in. Ah! Please don't flip what? me. Please don't. You're not gonna flip, I got it. How's that? I can't with you. Is this good? No. <gasps> See? Now that we're situated, are you comfy? Yes. Alright, I like to loosen you up a little bit. You can't look so badass all the time. I'm really happy that you came here. Back at home is like Do I look like this guy? A little bit. <laughs> oh no, that'll we'll definitely make that work. Do I not seem like I want to? No, you do. I just need you to say it. I'm 100 percent in. Yeah. Are you 100 percent in? 1,000 percent. Well, then I'm 1,000 percent. Are they what? What was that girl from Boyfriends? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Based on the percentages. Boyfriends. Which they're in. He's 100. Th she's a thousand, which she thinks it's more, but it's not. They're both the max. Sure. 
true. Maximum percentage. So I overheard you and Mike talking Spanish the other day. Sí, mi mamá de Buenos Aires, de Argentina. Sí, de no eres su familia. Sí, de Argentina. ¿Y tú? Uh, mi mamá de... Mi mamá de... It's okay. The drinks will do that to you. Right? Los tragos. Oh, I feel like we should take some things with Jordan. I'll see you, sir. All right, well. Problema oh. grande. Hi, how's it going? It's good. I just got so thirsty. I'm gonna go. Thanks. Enjoy. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. How's it going? <laughs> Let's get this glass far away. It's a nice night. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to apologize to you for the other night. That was out of hand, and I shouldn't have done that. I know, like, I instigated it. Calling you something that obviously was not appropriate. I don't know, try to understand, like, as a girl, like, if your ex-boyfriend was on the island with, like, a new girl, like, it's kind of like, what you did was way out of line and not something that I would even do in high school. I know that what I'm doing with Brandon can be hurtful to you, and I understand that, but we're all adults. We should all act like adults. You're not, you're not all adults. I'm oops, yeah. sorry, I'm an adult. It was just all anger built towards Brandon. It wasn't really towards you. Yeah. Was... So I really, truly, from the bottom of my heart, apologize for that. Well, thank you for that. Yeah. Do you accept okay. that? Yeah, will you say I'm sorry I've been Throwing anything in your face? Yeah, like, you're not the complete victim here. Yeah, take some We're all the victim of Brandon's fashion choices. <laughs> I'll talk to you in a bit. I love you. Are you talking? I love you. It is. How are you guys doing? Is that short for Ishmael? He's back in LA. So. Oh, is he? Yeah, he's working on some stuff, so it's good. Are you excited mm, to be out of here and go see him? I feel like it's pretty bittersweet, because obviously this island is like gorgeous, and how much like of an opportunity do we have to like just totally escape reality? Well, we didn't escape it very much, but, but obviously like, we had our beef with Kara coming to the island. It felt like everyone hated me for inviting Kara to the island. But Amanda was especially upset. I don't like Kara. I don't want her here. I think you're stupid for bringing her up. And on top of it, Ish had to leave early. So I had to deal with my anxiety all on my own. So I was feeling really overwhelmed. So it's just going to take a lot for me to like get past all the shit that she said to everyone. Fine. I totally get that. And I apologize for not making it so public that she was coming to this island. I'm sorry. Yeah. But I wanted everyone to give her a fresh slate, and that's that's on me. You tried. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> She's going to be around, and I'm not asking you to forgive her. I'm not asking you to even get along with her. She literally goes and dates my ex. If I would have never seen her face again, it would have been a problem. Coming up. What is going to make you happy? Do you want her sitting at home knitting a sweater, like crying about it? Maybe. Yeah, who, who gets the sweater? Is it a good sweater? Yeah, a cashmere sweater would go a long way. It's insane to think about how tonight's going versus like Brandon's party. The energy is yeah. so different. <laughs> Night and day. <laughs> Juliet and all her drama is gone, so. Thank God. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Also, cheers to blend. Yeah, cheers yeah. to blend. It was so tense for me. I was just like, okay, I know Julia doesn't want me here. Like, yeah, I just felt unwelcomed a little bit. And now I'm just like having my best, or like hey. my best time. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys talking about? All our good times. <laughs> talking about how nice try, Max. We've all gone through in this trip, surprisingly. Oh yeah, it's been a lot. Yeah. It has. And we were just saying like we want the good vibes that we've had to continue and like and yeah. just have a great time with each other. It's been so, so nice. We yeah. hope it because we hope we can continue, but we just don't know. Yeah, we don't know how you're actually going to mm -hmm. take this news. Yeah. <laughs> things are gonna be. And I would hope that there's no sides, but also like something needs to happen. Julia needs to change to where this kind of stuff doesn't happen anymore. If she took this seriously, she would have reached out
out to me. She would have apologized to me. She would at least have shot me a text and be like, hey, Kelsey. Shot me a text. Shot me. Julia, a text from her butthole. But she should have sent her something. Definitely. Yeah. She can't just apo apologize on apology. camera uh -uh. and think Kelsey's going to buy it because uh -uh. she's selling it. Hey, Kelsey, I really am sorry how things went down. Instead, she gets on a jet, goes to Miami, parties, continues to get drunk, continues to take a private jet home, and like, it's just like another day in the life of Juliet. Well, when we were all talking to Sam, he actually talked about buying a Range Rover for Juliet. That doesn't surprise me. Like, for what? So they won't fight on the island. It was like a bribe. Buy a Range Rover, here's what I heard. I was thinking um, I'd get you a Range Rover. Really? Yeah, as long as you're nice to me. Okay, this is gonna be hard. Weird how she still isn't getting any consequences. She's getting a Range Rover. Because she's down in the dumps because she went through so much through hitting me. So she's playing the victim. Of course, it's Juliet. You guys don't know that though. That group left I... and they immediately went out in Miami and they didn't even take a moment to themselves to really like clear their heads and get into a good space. I think that's what Sam needs. Yeah. Sam needs like to de-break and he's like went straight to that. Like I don't think I just don't think Juliet's good for him. Who are you to say that Juliet's not good for Sam? Jordana. Like I think she's a liability. Like I just think that it's not good for his look. Like if people find out that she doesn't care about like who she's hitting. Like his family. I'm trying to get where you're coming from, but I also like don't understand why you have that opinion because you don't know their relationship. You don't hang out with them. Like she's not talking about their relationship. No, she's talking she's about Julia's just, actions, yeah. which she knows because she saw it. Amanda's blindly, yeah, yeah hating. Yeah, together and they're good. They're actually really good. Nobody here can comment on who's good for who. Honestly, yeah, they can. Those yeah, they can. Work their shit out. He actually cares and he loves her and he wants to be around her. Sam can decide if Juliet's enough of a liability. Well, that's true, but she's still about to say she's still about to say that she is one. Yeah. If I had done what Juliet did, he would hold me accountable, and that's what a boyfriend and someone that actually loves you does. And Sam's not doing that. You haven't been friends for that long. I've been friends with Juliet for I can't even tell you how long. I'm not just gonna drop her out of my life because she made one mistake. I'm so tired of everyone. Like I'm saying, just saying, like you guys can't say that she's sitting at home not feeling no remorse at all. I, she's yeah, she's putting up stories this. in Miami. She's she's yes, but it doesn't oh mean God. she doesn't That's feel no bad remorse. for hitting you. That's no remorse, Amanda. Sam flies private jets, took his girlfriend out on a yacht in Miami. What's new? What is going to make you happy that makes you feel like her actions have consequences? Do you want her sitting at home knitting a sweater like, or crying about it? Like, what do you genuinely want? I, I want to know. I want her fired from the show. Shit. I want her to get help because honestly, that girl is not the girl I was friends with a year ago. That girl is lost. I hear everything, but like nobody can help her except for her. Kelsey's not really being honest with what she wants. Yeah, I want she her to get, want help. get help. No, I mean, she should just want an apology, like a real apology. apology. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my oh, God, Spike. Turtle. Turtles are fast. Hot take, turtles are fast. It's about time. Another weird hat. We went through uh -huh. it here. We did. <laughs> Can Garrett pull off that hat? No. Tell me in the comments. Okay, do, a, do a poll. <laughs> <laughs> Stronger than ever. Well, I mean, at this you know, point, we can get through anything. Yeah, for so, real. Like, please stop talking over me. I'm excited to go home. Are you excited to go home? Yeah. I think the first two weeks, I was like, oh, this is great. And then it felt like Groundhog Day. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, we definitely had fun. Now we're going back to real life. Like, where does that leave us? Say, I'm gonna go home. I just hate this division. I really hate it. She hates what? Long division? <laughs> she hates it. Julia, like, I like. I mean, what's the point? Find out how many things fit into something else. That's the point of long division. I think we were all hoping this vacation would be a chance like, for what? new beginnings. I promise to yeah, one day. Sometimes prepare. a fresh start isn't what you thought it would be. Sometimes it means rising above conflict with an old friend. Or letting go of someone you once loved. 
despite how easy or hard that might be. Or learning to focus on what truly matters instead of the curveballs that life throws at you. Well, this is Juliet's voice. Let me just see one thing, sorry. I know Andrew Kaba. Uh-huh. I know Andrew Yunkin. You guys have done it again. Ooh. I'm not sorry, I'm not sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah. It's Lolly's back. Duh. Duh. Could not stay away for too no long. Way. I'm actually throwing a baby shower. Am I invited? Does Delaney know about your dumb? No. Hi. no this is Delaney. Hi, Delaney. Yeah, she does. That's awkward. I think with you, there is a lot of jealousy. But let's recap that episode a little bit. It's just to get everybody's opinions on what had happened. It was just like, let's look back at the past month and see what, where, how far we've come or how far we have not, not come. come. Yeah, sometimes you come far and sometimes you come not far. I wonder if like they kicked Juliet off the island and they had like two more weeks, right? And then they were like, nope. Yeah. Nope. Everyone wrap it up. This might be the end of the whole show. Like I bet that, that it was a possibility that this was the last episode we'd ever see. Mm -hmm. so who knows if we can go on without Juliet. Right. She's gonna get I guess fired. It's, eight, it's the eighth episode of the season. They're like, let's so. just wrap, get every storyline wrapped up. Yeah. So we can do a face montage at the end with everyone being like, I don't know where life's going to take right, me. But right. Definitely Slow mo's on to the learn boat. Some lessons at some yeah. point but they are going to come back with they another are. episode they and are. we're going to watch it they we are and you're going to watch us watch it and you that are. is the format of that's our youtube truth. channel that's the truth that's the truth thanks for being here guys thank you annie thank you whitney thank you shortcuts thank you community community thank you youtube thank you og regulars Us.